that's just heartbreaking to hear after the flooding that another system could be coming in. Yeah, it's not great for those folks, but you know, we ran a soundbite last night from a resident down there saying nobody forecasted this. Well, it was a one in 1,000 year flood. No one can forecast that. Sure. I mean, it's just, it, it, but you feel bad for those folks because it is tough, obviously, what they're dealing with, but climate change, yeah. Mm. Nothing else to say about that, but we do have a nice week on the way. There's a live look at Fadeville right now. Things are nice and quiet. Today in Fadeville, we got up to 64 degrees. That's six degrees below the average, which is 70. Chilly morning, though, 43 degrees, two degrees shy, which is 45 for this time of the year. There's a look at Fort Smith right now. Things are all lit up. We got up to 69 degrees, six degrees below average. And this will be the only below average day of the week because temperatures will immediately start to warm up as we, as we kick off our Monday. Here's a look at the latest pollen numbers, courtesy of Hedberg Allergy in Rogers. Everything's still relatively low except for tree pollen but I suspect these readings will start to increase the deeper into spring that we get. We talked about that warm up. Here it comes as we go through the next five days through into the mid to upper 70s across northwest Arkansas over the next uh, four days at least. Then a front will come through and knock our temperatures back down on Friday. River Valley up to 80 on Tuesday and uh, for the most part very warm and very comfortable. Uh, humidity levels still staying on the low side. Right now we're in the 50s. Clear skies cooling off pretty quickly across northwest Arkansas as well as in the River Valley. Look at Poto and Worcester already down to 46 degrees. Going through the rest of the night nice and quiet. Waking up tomorrow morning. Most people will be in the 30s. Can't rule out a little bit of patchy frost. Uh, that's about it. But racing back into the 70s for our highs tomorrow and then maybe Tuesday morning a weak little piece of energy could slide by and give us a couple of raindrops or two. The bigger story comes Thursday. Uh, Thursday afternoon or so with a better chance for strong to severe storms again. Uh, tis the season. We'll keep an eye on it. You're going to want to check back for updates there. 30s and 40s tonight for our lows and back into the 70s. Another very comfortable day to kick off your work week on Monday. And there's the extended forecast. Lots of sunshine, lots of warm temperatures. A couple of sprinkles possible on Wednesday. As I said, the better chance for rain arrives on Thursday with the potential for widespread showers and storms. Uh, just an impact day for now, but we'll keep an eye on everything. River Valley feel about the same thing up to 80 on Tuesday. Some storminess Thursday, and then we cool down by the time we get to next weekend.